Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are talking metals and gold prices. Hit a critical level today. We saw a settle below 1330. I say critical because 1330 to 1370 was kind of the range we needed to hold, or excuse me, 1330 to 1350 was the range we needed to hold in order to see gold prices in a neutral spot. Above 1350, we started to see things get bullish with a target of 1370. Below 1330, look out. It means that we're probably starting to lean bearish with a settle below 1325. That could be the level that you don't want to be long, and you're going to probably see spec long start to really uh, look to exit here as the market turns slightly bearish. So right now, technically speaking, we had all the bullish momentum in the world, and it's just like the air coming out of a balloon. It's now gone. And the dollar, which it saw its highest trade in, uh, in about a month, the dollar index, Likewise, I don't think it's necessarily strong dollar policy here that's causing the dollar to rally. I think it might just be continuation of the risk off trade. The yen, the pound, the euro have all found favor against the dollar this year and going back to last year as well. And I think you're just seeing some unwinds of those trades. And I think that that's causing the dollar to just sort of get a bit here. If you look at a longer term uh, chart of the dollar index, it isn't necessarily looking bullish. However, we are every every marathon begins with one step. And so modest uptick here. I think it's more of a cover trade than it is more of a dollar bullish trade. And lastly, if you look at the risks, that the gold has been certainly in favor as we've seen risks rise globally. But we now have hearing that the, the Chinese and the U.S. are possibly coming to some agreements uh, about some of the trade tariffs, or at least they're open to them, which I think is another reason why gold maybe is finding some more sellers today. Uh, that could change at any moment, though. And like many commodity prices, gold trades very emotionally. And if you come in tomorrow and they find out that the Chinese are going to tax uh, another 100 or 1,200 different U.S. products, gold prices will be elevated. Uh, but right now, it seems that everybody's taking a big sigh of relief. You're seeing risk assets benefit. You're seeing riskless assets uh, suffer. And that's one of the reasons why I think we're seeing gold prices settle below a critical 1330. We need to settle below 1325 to turn bearish. But now I think a lot of the longs are going to start to exit. So look for gold prices to be heavy here until we get our next batch of news, which is tomorrow when we get non-farm payroll and a speech from Fed Chair Powell. That could be a catalyst for a move in either direction at this point. So right now, gold prices declining and looking to go further as we head into non-farm payroll. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.